Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got a product review. This is not sponsored. I've put that out there straight away. This is me buying my own stuff. It'd be nice if it was sponsored for everything, but it's it once in a blue moon. But I've had a gadget with me for a long time. And it's one of them things that you really need to get is a multimeter when you're doing this sort of retro stuff. This is the Maplin Precision Gold M2020S. I have had this since about 1988, possibly earlier. I think I ordered something on Maplin and they sent this. Maplin have gone, they've been, yeah, I think they actually are coming back, or if not, they have come back. Sorry, I'm faffing with the cables there. Well, they are coming back, but they sent this by mistake and never wanted it back. So I've had this since, yeah, since 88, maybe 87. I'm not quite sure. I used to buy a lot of little components back, back when I was at school. So that shows how old I am. Basically, it's quite a good little multimeter. Is about the year on this? No, it just shows a serial number. Test jack diode test. Right, so basically got three common, which is your black. DC 10 volts, V, Pi, A, whatever. Just basically put it in one and there, one there and there. That's easy enough to do. Check your AC, check your DC, check your DC milliamps, and then check resistance. And a transistor check. And I always just like that because it does that. Press the transistor check by putting your transistor in there, E, V, C. And then you just to flick that. That's all, because I never used to tr check transistors. But it would obviously tell you if it's that way around or that way around. So, but I just like the way it flashed from one side to the other. Don't light it up, makes it a bit easier. No, there you go. That amused me for hours. <laughs> However, I think it might be about time that this got relegated to gone. I mean, the needles work fine. You have the adjuster on there for just in case. So I always check the ohms there. Down to zero, yes, that would give me a zero reading. Fine, but I wanted something better. So I went out and asked a friend. I asked Retro Box Room, what would you buy? And he come out with this. This is the one he actually uses himself, the Proster Digital Multimeter model. This actually is the PST99, I think. If it is an i7, then fine. Looks like it's relatively similar voltage. It's like your diode, hertz, temperature? I don't do temperature. That's like your... That's the same sort of thing as the um, transistor check. Okay, DCAC, what? And most best, the digital, digital display instead of having a needle. Now, out of the box, you've got it all in a bag. That's very nice. That's like an old jacket I used to have quite a long time ago. Let's have a look. Is this on the side? Yeah, it's a PST99, so it is the better one of the two that they have the multiple boxes for. Chuck that away. So let's get into the box, into the bag, unzip. Straight out of it, we've got the instructions book. English, German, French, yes, yes, yes. Right, nice and orange. Okay. And that looks to me like a temperature gauge. So I could probably plug that in and see how warm it is inside the garage. A couple of crocodile clips. Go on the end of these very nice looking probes. Hmm. Okay, so bags out, because I will be using this. Cable lengthwise, let's have a look how different the lengths are. They're actually a lot shorter than my original by a, what, about four or five inch? Six, eight inch, I don't know. I can't measure things too well. So, I've all got little caps on the end so it doesn't, you don't accidentally do something with them. Okay, don't know. It's out of the bag. Let's get into the bag. <laughs> Somebody's been being a pain in the arse by doing the shrink wrapping. Thank you very much. Now, looks like it's got a stand at the back there. Quite nice. 
Why does it look like it's inside? Oh. I want to say, why does it look like it's inside something? But it is. Okay, so batteries on the back. I don't know if I've got any batteries in this or not. Off, on. Looks like we've got batteries inside. Why am I showing voltage when I haven't got anything plugged in? Okay. Millivolts. Standard volts. I am no expert on this, but that looks like that goes there. Does it matter which way around that goes? Not like both are exactly the same. The rounded on one end and flat under the other, does that matter? I don't know. It's gone in. Right, so I'll obviously check temperature. So I've got around to see. It's 24 degrees in here. It's actually quite warm outside. Can that be changed? There's a blue, ah, 76 in Fahrenheit, in American. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's see if we can get this any warmer. Here we go. I'm currently 35. No, no, you can get more than that. Sticks on a solder round, it'll go up even quicker. That's going, uh, that, for, for what? Yeah, it is, but it isn't going down quick enough, but that's fine. So I've got Hertz on here. What's HFE, that Farad, Farad? Summary, safety, features, meter maintenance. Meanwhile, I'll be checking on this one, basically, will be voltage in case things are across it or continuity, which I do hope there is a beep. I am missing that with the Maplin one. It just doesn't beep. Fused, I think, to there. Common is just standard, right. So this one, my original one had two positive inputs. This one's actually got one, two, three, and then the common goes in there. So all I want is a beep to make me happy in life. I just want a beep. Continuity, come on, give me continuity. Okay, let's try on milliamps. Range, hold, oh. There's more to this that I am actually looking at. Voltage and Hertz, okay, I'll be probably using that one more often anyway. What is that? This is this is gonna take some getting used to, I think. Hertz duty release. That holds the variable what it's what I am producing by faffing. So range. I need to play with this, don't I? Auto off power. I don't know if that's a reset button. No. That is actually really good. AC DC button, so you haven't got to swap between them both. Even though that won't change. I know I'm probably using this completely wrong. It's on auto. Just give me a beep. Somebody beep. Probably not on the right setting. What's APU? Release, hold, max, minimum, okay. Well, I'm gonna get playing with this and see what's what. I'm gonna need to put it back in the rubber case in case I drop it on the floor anyway. That's quite thick silicon on that, which is quite nice to see. Da, 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 da. It's nicely cut out as well, so you can do have to faff around with your probes, taking them out to go and do that. Yeah, oh, very nice. We've even got, oh, that's clever. That's very clever. That goes when you're away, all nicely, neatly stacks in there, hopefully. 
I quite like enjoying that over the next few years. Once I get used to it, and when I figure out how to make it beep. The crocodile clips on the end will be very useful. They are quite small. I have one which fitted on the end of these. It's screwed into it. But these are just clip on. No, no. Hold on a minute. These don't go on there. That's a bit weird. You've got to take, put that into there. So you've only got that amount of cable to crocodile clip. Mm, I'd be happy with a lot more cable on these. I have been told by Mr. Fairfighter, the retro box room, to get a, another pack of probes which have lots of different attachments on the end, which I will be doing as soon as payday comes around. They actually are quite thin, these. They're quite good. 20 amps, Cat 3 for 1,000 volts. I am not touching 1,000 volts, for those who are asking. Yeah, they're quite good, these. Quite impressed so far. I'll be trying to mount this over the side of a bit of string, a bit of wire on the back of there, to hook onto a hook over there. So I think this is going to be get demoted down to the um, the box of past things. So it's sad to see go, but I do need to upgrade a little bit. So yeah, the Prosta VC99 multimeter. So we're going to enjoy playing with that. Once I get sus sus it out, how to use it. So, yeah, slight unboxing, see what you get inside the bag. Not full testing. It, it's a multimeter, I'm sure I can figure this out pretty quickly enough. Let's get down to reading the book. So, for that in mind, thanks for watching. If you want to get one of these, they're on Amazon. I'm not putting the link below, just, just to search Amazon for Proster. Multimeters, I'm sure you'll come across them. If you want the lower lower range, the lower, lower model than this, fine. If not, it wasn't actually that expensive. I think they're about, what, £40? But for some, something that I've had since 1988, possibly 87, these things will last a long time, all being well. So, with that, thanks for watching. Follow, please follow me on social media. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.